The heart's a muscle. Uh, it's just like any other muscle that we have. It's got to have a blood supply. That blood supply has to bring in oxygen to the heart muscle. If something happens to that blood supply and there's no oxygen that goes to the muscle, then the muscle's gonna die, that's a heart attack. Now, let's talk about a little bit more carefully about what happens to the heart during a heart attack. We now call that acute coronary syndrome, ACS. And what we have in the coronary vessels, they're the blood vessels that supply the nourishment to the heart muscle. In those coronary arteries, if there is deposition of cholesterol in those arteries. Now what we used to think of is in the inner lining when there was cholesterol that was added that eventually so much would be added that it would just close off the vessel. Now we're having sort of a new thought process now that we've gotten more experience and we have better diagnostic uh, ability. That blood vessel that has the corn, the hardening of the arteries, the cholesterol in that plaque, if that little area there, there begins to implode, it will expand out all of the sudden. Something causes it to break loose. There's inflammation in there, and it's, I like to think of it as an airbag, an airbag inside a vessel, and boom, it comes out, and it completely closes off the blood supply to part of the heart. Now that's why it's important when you and I are exercising and taking care of our heart that we know what our cholesterol is and that we get our cholesterol levels low, that we exercise so that we can get collateral circulation. What's collateral circulation? Well, if we exercise, the heart needs more blood supply and it actually develops additional blood supply if we exercise. So if something happens, if an airbag is let loose, if a cholesterol plaque implodes, uh, then you've got the ability of collateral circulation to take over. Now, we've got a blood vessel that's completely occluded. It will cause chest pain. The electrocardiogram will be abnormal. The heart cath will show that blood vessel is blocked off and the doctor can come in and the doctor can actually open up that vessel. If he can do that within 90 minutes, then we can reestablish the blood flow to the heart, nothing happens. If he can't, if it lasts six hours or five hours or four hours, then the heart muscle hasn't had enough blood and that heart muscle will die. When it dies, the rest of the heart still works, but it makes it where it doesn't work as good. And so you have to be followed by your doctor and your heart specialist. So that's what happens during acute coronary syndrome. How do we prevent that? Watch our weight, watch our cholesterol, watch our blood pressure.